Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade English with number 26 and day number one. All right. So today is going to be about reading and comprehension as usual. And we are going to be reading an article together and we get a chance to answer a couple of questions right afterwards to measure our comprehension of the text. Then right afterwards, we are gonna to try to build our vocabulary because there may be certain words over there that you haven't heard of before. We get a chance to find the meaning of those words, how the words are used in sentences by checking into your dictionary, right? And we are gonna do all of those fun things today by the grace of God. All right, let's try to get started. So I'm gonna read the article to you and you just watch on the board with me. You're welcome to turn to page number 149. The article is gonna be there as well. If you have a workbook, if not, just watch on the board and just listen as I read, all right. So the article is gonna be titled Research, Paraphrasing and Plagiarism, all right. What would have happened if someone drives up to your property, drives up to your property, and takes the turkey in your refrigerator and walks away? Mm. Would you consider that stealing? Absolutely. Well, that is what plagiarism is. We're not talking about stealing turkey or candy, though. Rather, we are talking about stealing other people's intellectual property, such as their writings and publications, and so on. In referencing other people's intellectual property, you are welcome to read and learn from them, and then paraphrase, summarize what you have learned in your own words. If you quote or closely imitate the work of others, it is appropriate to give them credit for it. We give others credit when we include citations, either in the body of the article or at the end of it. Have you had plenty of practice with citation since unit three of fourth grade English? Make sure you pay attention, little hero. There are topics that pique your interest though, and they are definitely worth studying about. When you engage in an adventure to gather information about a topic of interest, then you want to conduct research. Research is all about gathering information to satisfy a curiosity or an interest. When you do research, we are trying to uncover questions that are not readily answerable. We do this by firstly developing a plan, then gathering information and then presenting information and drawing conclusions. In the 21st century, information is so prevalent, so conducting research is fairly easy. However, finding credible sources of information can be challenging sometimes. That is the reason it's important to reference sources like local libraries, well-known journals and publications to validate information that might have come through less credible sources like the internet. Do you know that God recommends that we do research about him as well? Proverbs chapter 2 states that we have to research or search for insights like hidden treasures. In all of your research, now, however, make sure you give glory to the author of all knowledge, who is God, and do not plagiarize. Okay, great, great, great work. All right, so let's try to answer a few questions to measure our comprehension. All right, so we are gonna answer a couple questions right now. Uh, so reading about 
plagiarism, <laughs> research, and studying, I believe. Is that the title of it? All right, so research and plagiarism. Plagiarism. Uh, and paraphrasing. Paraphrasing. All right. Question number one. In your own words, describe plagiarism. So if you've read from uh, paragraph number one to paragraph number two, um, you are going to understand what plagiarism is. So try to give it a shot. What is plagiarism? Just try to explain it to yourself. What is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be close to what it is. It is... It is using other uh, people's, right? Using other people's intellectual property, intellectual property without, guess what? Giving them credit for it. Giving them credit for them, All right? Oh, for it. It's okay. <laughs> for it. All right. So when we use other people's intellectual property without giving them credit for it, well, that's going to be called plagiarism, and we don't want to do that. Uh, what is an intellectual property? An intellectual property will be like the writing and the text, right? So you want to give Hero Smart credit for it. If you were to use that right in Summer House, you're going to say, well, I got this from Hero Smart. How do you do that? You're just going to mention Hero Smart somewhere over there at the bottom of the text or in your writing. Right. Question number two, what is paraphrasing? So paraphrasing is going to be summarizing. Wow, that's it. All right. Paraphrasing is summarizing. in your own words, okay? So you're gonna read something, you can learn from it, but then you do not necessarily have to quote verbatim when you are trying to reference the information of other people's intellectual property, all right? Just summarize, write it out in your own words, try to write it out without looking at it, okay? Without looking at other people's writing, all right? So that's what paraphrasing is. All right, now question number three. How do we give credit when using um, other people's intellectual property? Well, it's called citation. We've been talking about that for a few weeks right now. You can have in text or in paragraph citation. All right, within the paragraph, you can do citations or at the end of your writing okay so you can do citations one or two ways you can cite within the text or at the end of the text all right what is research okay research is a systematic is a systematic way of gathering information all right, to, I'm not gonna say to present an idea. Uh, all right, I'm gonna say that. To present an idea, to draw a conclusion, but you gotta have a systematic way of gathering information to come to that conclusion. That's what research is. Why is it important to validate information from the internet? Why? Because the internet is less credible, okay, or less believable. So everybody right now has access to the internet. Well, people can make typographical errors on the internet. They can just publish whatever they dreamt yesterday on the internet without necessarily having facts to back it up. So you're not just going to be trying to get things from the internet and regurgitating in an academic setting without validating what you got. All right. 
Uh, what are some credible sources of information? Well, credible source of information will be like your library, okay? Uh, well-established journals, okay? So you are gonna have some well-established journals, journals over there, trade publications, okay? Those are well-established um, places where you can get credible information. All right, great work. All right, so let's try to build our vocabulary a little bit. We are going to try to uh, find the meaning of certain words that might have jumped at you while you were reading this text with me. All right, so the word plagiarism. Okay, plagiarism. All right, it is a noun. And it means closely imitating the work of others without giving them credit. All right. Closely imitating the work of others without giving them Right. right, so that's what plagiarism is. What about paraphrasing? Well, paraphrasing, which would define as summarizing um, just a few moments ago, is a verb, and you can call it rewording. All right, rewording. All right. You just want to use your own words to describe the concept that you learned before. Credible. What's the meaning of credible? Well, credible is going to be an adjective, right? And it means believable. All right? It means worthy of trust. I can trust this source of information. It's a credible source of information. What about prevalent? Prevalent. All right. Well, that's going to be an adjective as well. And it means wide spread, okay? Information is prevalent all over the internet. It is widespread. Everybody get a, gets a chance to upload something to the internet every minute, every second, every day. So information is just prevalent all over the internet, but there are credible sources and not too credible sources as well. All right, did you, did you learn something from me today? So please go ahead and turn to page number 150 and I believe 149 as well. Uh, you are gonna see additional tips over there to retain this content a little bit better. I wanna thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you?